All right, today Shure released another MV7 microphone, but this is not a USB microphone that I ever expected to see, ever thought about. Um, it was surprising when it was sent to me, and it's the MV7i. So the I is for interface, and it is an MV7 Plus, same microphone, USB, this is USB and XLR out, except this XLR that you see here is an input. So XLR input or quarter inch input means that you can plug any microphone, condenser or dynamic into the bottom of this microphone and it is a two channel audio interface. So two microphones go in, one USB-C comes out. So, so that could mean a podcast setup that doesn't require getting or having another audio interface, you know, another box where you're going to take two microphones. If you're going to run two XLR microphones, you'd need an audio interface. Well, now, I mean, this is the SM7B. I can take that and I can plug it right into the MV7i and I'm ready to go. Put the USB into the computer or even your phone or tablet and no extra audio interface, two microphones. And the amazing thing is all the benefits of the MV7 Plus, the cool stuff that I have in my review on my YouTube channel, the denoiser, all of that, uh, can now, you can now have that on your SM7B. So your SM7B can now have noise removal, and there's a new thing called smart gate. Uh, that's a gate. You can have it on any mic. So this is really cool and unexpected. You're not hearing it now. Uh, I have, will have a full review in a few days coming out on my YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe for that where I'll demo all the features that you get. And I mean, who is this for? I mean, if you're running two USB microphones in the past, that is kind of a pain to do with an aggregate device or using proprietary software, however you're doing that. One USB, any microphones going through one single USB. I think the real probably huge benefit is to someone who's starting, wants to do multiple microphones and wants to use a mobile device. That's pretty huge because all those DSP settings are stored inside the microphone, which is allowing you to get all of that digital signal processing, like the noise removal and the smart gate. You can get that for any other microphone that you already have. So depends. It's 350. Is that better than spinning it on an audio interface as well? Just depends on your setup.